Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Sinfrera. I'm back actually to read the last two chapters of our Young Cam Jansen book, Young Cam Jansen and the Baseball Mystery. I'm reading the last two chapters because tomorrow is the beginning of our spring break. So I didn't want to just end with chapter four and then have to wait over a week to see how the story ends, that wouldn't be fair to you. I can't leave you hanging and waiting all that time. So I'm going to read chapters four and five so we can finish this book together before the start of spring break. Now, yesterday when we were reading, uh, the chapter ended with Robert noticing that there were some children playing with their baseball. And I asked some of you, what would you do if you noticed that there were children playing with the ball? Would you just go and take it from them? What do you think they're going to do? Well, we have to read to find out. I hope this problem gets solved. Chapter four is called, That's Our Ball. The girl threw the ball high over the boy's head. The boy jumped but he didn't catch it. He turned, ran, and stopped the ball with his foot. Just then, Cam remembered something. The boy picked up the ball. Cam closed her eyes and said, click. Robert walked over to the girl and boy. Eric, Rachel, and the others followed him. That's our ball, Robert said. Amy hit it over my head, and you found it. Now we want it back. Cam opened her eyes. She looked at the benches. Hmm, so she must be remembering something. She looked at the people sitting on them. Cam closed her eyes and said, click again. Well, before I read the next page to you. Why don't we go back to the beginning and let's see what Cam is imagining with those people sitting on the benches. So I'm going to go back to the beginning where there were children playing outside at the park. There were people on the benches. Can you make a prediction of what happened to the baseball? What is Cam picturing in her mind? Let's see. Any more pictures there of the children? Anybody on benches? No, nope, I don't see anything else. So that's the main one. Oh, here's another one. That's when Robert was looking for the ball. Hmm. I don't know. I think I have an idea in my head of where the ball went. Let's keep reading to see if Cam figures it out. The ball is ours, the girl said. We brought it from home. Robert held out his hand and said, let me see it. The girl gave the ball to Robert. He showed it to Rachel. Is this yours? He asked. Rachel looked at it. Hmm. No, it's not. I wrote my name on the ball. So here we have Robert going up to the children. And he's like, hey, that's our ball. Give it to us. While Cam is closing her eyes and picturing in her head something that had happened. And here, Rachel is examining the ball because she's the one that brought the baseball to the park. And she said, you know what? No, they're not playing with our ball because it has my name on it. This ball does not have my name written on it. So it can't be our ball. She gave the ball back to the girl. I'm sorry, Robert said. I was wrong. It's not our ball. Rachel told Robert and the others, Let's keep looking. No, Cam said and opened her eyes. We don't have to look for the ball. We have to look for a dog. A dog? But I thought the ball is missing. What do you think she's imagining? What do you think she pictured in her mind and went deep down inside of her memory to figure it out? Turn and talk to your parents. All right, I'm curious to see all of your predictions. I wonder what happened. I know some of you made some predictions in the beginning of the story with what happened to the ball. Did any of you change your predictions now as we went and looked for clues? Well, let's see what happens. You can always change predictions as you read the story because the clues come up and you can be like, oh, wait, I changed my mind. I think this is going to happen instead. Okay, let's see what really happens. Chapter five is called Ruff, Ruff. That's silly, Rachel said. We didn't lose a dog. We lost a ball. 
Cam led them to the red ball. I found that before, Dara said. It's not ours. Eric told Cam, our ball is white. Cam picked up a red ball. She showed it to her friends. Uh, let me go back and reread that because I didn't really pause where I'm supposed to. Good readers always go back and make sure they pause at the right spots and they fix any mistakes that they made. So since I made a mistake, I'm going to go back and reread that. Eric told Cam, our ball is white. Cam picked up the red ball. She showed it to her friends. Do you see teeth marks on this ball? She asked. An old man was playing catch with his dog. That's right, Eric said. First the ball almost hit me. Then the dog almost ran into me. This is all very nice, Rachel said, but I want to find my ball. Cam said, I think the old man threw this ball. The dog ran for it, but it took Rachel's ball. That's why this red ball was left near the bench. We should look for a dog. It's small, brown, and has white spots. If we find that dog, we'll find Rachel's ball. No, Robert said, let's just keep looking for Rachel's ball. Hmm. What would you do? Would you go along with Cam and think, you know what? Yeah, I like your idea. Let's go look for a dog and then we'll be able to find the ball. Or would you go along with Robert and say, no, I just want to keep looking for the baseball. What would you do? Me? I would stick with Cam because Cam has an amazing memory and I would think that she's right with this. So she's explaining that, hey, we saw the man playing fetch with the dog. He threw the red ball and maybe the dog picked up the baseball instead of that red ball since the red ball was found on the ground. So he took the wrong ball. Let's see. Robert and some of the children kept looking for the ball. Cam, Eric, Rachel, and Evan looked for the dog. Uh, so they split up into two groups. They found it in the open field. It was running to the old man. There was a ball in its mouth. Cam, Eric, Rachel, and Evan ran to the old man too. The old man took the ball out of the dog's mouth. It was a white ball. He was about to throw it. Stop! Cam called to him. Don't throw the ball. He stopped. He didn't throw the ball. That's mine, Rachel told the man. Cam gave him the red ball. So here's the picture. There's the dog returning to the man with the ball, but he's holding in his mouth a white ball. So they're saying, no, that's our ball. Because the ball that they were that the dog was originally playing with with the owner with the man was really a red ball and we can even go back to the beginning and I'll prove it to you I'm going to go back look for those clues up oh, here we go there's that picture I just showed you a little while ago there's the old man on the bench and he threw there's a dog and he threw a red ball but now on this page he has a white ball in his hand. So the balls must have gotten mixed up. Oh my goodness. So Cam gave him the red ball. Let's see what happens. There's the picture. Aw. This is yours, she said. The old man looked at the red and white balls. The white one has a name on it. Are you Rachel? The man asked. Yes, Rachel told him. Then this is yours, the man said. He gave Rachel the white ball. I'm sorry we had it. I wasn't watching what ball Pal brought back. Roof, roof, Pal barked. Rachel ran to Robert and showed him the ball. You were right, Robert told Cam. Let's play ball, Rachel said. She walked to home plate. Pitch it here, Rachel said. I want to hit a home run. The end. Oh, I'm so glad that they found the ball and now they can continue their game. I wonder who's going to win the game. Hmm.
if you would extend the story and make the story keep going and going, you can do that. I love doing that with stories. I want to be my own author and I can pretend I'm writing the book with the author of this story, David A. Adler. And I can pretend I'm creating another chapter of the book and they keep playing baseball and we can even make up which team won. It's up to you. All right, boys and girls, what you're going to do today, our focus for reading today, is to act out your favorite scenes of a story. You're dramatizing. You're changing your voice. Remember, we talked about that yesterday. You're using your hand gestures and a lot of even some facial expressions also. So I want you to go back. You can rewatch the other chapters that we did from this book and pick out your favorite scene, the favorite, your favorite part of the story and do this with your parents or your siblings, act it out with them. You, maybe you want to be Cam and you want your little brother to be Robert. That's fine. Act it out and feel free to take some videos of it and send it to me on Blooms or you can email it to me. So that's really the one main thing I want you to do with the story, practicing, acting it out and dramatizing it. You can even tell your parents, can you be the director of our movie? And they can say, action, and you can do all of the parts. And when you're all done, your parents can say, cut, like a real director. So just have some fun with it. And the last thing I want to do with you is actually another memory game. Who remembers the memory game that we did with another Cam Jansen book? Some of you remember awesome. Well, this book has another memory game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture on one of the pages. It's actually a picture on page four. Let's see here. Okay. So I'm going to hold up this picture for a few seconds and take a good, good look at it. Look at all the details. Try to store it in your memory banks. Keep it locked in your head. Look at all those details, and I'm going to ask you some questions to see if you remember it. Okay, you ready? Okay, now, here's some questions for you. And I'll also put these questions on Blooms to see if you remember. First question, who is in front, Cam or Eric? Question number two, what color are Eric's sneakers? Ooh, do you remember? Were you looking that closely? Question number three, how many kites are in the picture? And then question four, who is stepping in a puddle? And feel free to just answer verbally, with, you know, have your child just tell you the answers or maybe have them write it down or you can write down what they say. And then what you can do is rewind this video a little bit to where I was showing you the picture and check the answers to see how good your memories were. Do we have photographic memories like Cam? Well, we'll have to see and find out. I'd love to hear how many of those questions you answered correctly. Okay, boys and girls, I had a lot of fun in, with you reading these Cam Jansen books uh, for the last few weeks. We have a little over a week for spring break, so I will be returning on Monday, April the 20th with another book to read to you. And please let me know on Blooms, what kind of background do you want me to have in the next read aloud story? Would you like me to be in outer space or maybe in the rainforest? You pick, you tell me where you want me to be located and I will read you the next book from that location with our virtual background. I'll teleport myself to that location. Be creative, have fun. I can't wait to see where you want me to read from. Okay, enjoy your spring break. Get plenty of rest. Feel free to keep on reading during your spring break and have fun with your family. Stay healthy, stay safe, and rock on. See you on April the 20th. Bye, boys and girls.